Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Friday, April 22nd, 2022. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. I swear, if George doesn't find some damn spring weather soon, I've had enough of this cold, damp, never-ending winter. The only good thing I have going on is that it is Friday, so let's bring on the weekend, shall we? This first story has some good news and some bad news. The Federal Highway Administration gave the green light for Maryland to move forward with plans to build a bridge across the bay. The location selected was adjacent to the existing bridge. Now the state moves to study to select the specific location, and there's about a two-mile zone on either side of it. And back in October, the county council approved a resolution calling for a bigger, wider single bridge at the location, saying that that was the best choice. Not that they have a say in this. Yesterday, County Executive Pittman, who also really doesn't have a say in this, said he would have preferred it to be someplace else, but said now that we need to ensure communities and environments are protected as we move forward, he said that we cannot build yesterday's bridge tomorrow. That's the bad news. The good news is, is that there's going to be so much infighting, politicking, and changing of administrations that this bridge will never be built in the foreseeable future. If there is one thing any government is good at, it is doing studies. And I hear Annapolis is actually planning an addition to City Hall just to store the unimplemented studies that they've done over the years. No need to lose our minds over this news about the bridge. We're still trying to keep up with all the moves at the Annapolis Town Center, but this one is for sure. Urbano Mexican Fair will be taking over the location once occupied by Bonefish Grill in the Town Center sometime in early 2023. The Mexican restaurant has two other locations in Northern Virginia, and I wonder how they're going to fare when they are arguably within spitting distance of two of the best Latino places in the area, Jalapenos and San Fronteras. Anyhow, they are throwing a Cinco de Mayo party at the town center on Siete de Mayo from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. It will be outside and they'll have food, entertainment, and close it out with some fireworks. There is a $5 admission, and we do have a link at ionanapolis.net, so if you want to get a ticket, you can go ahead and do that. And they have said that this is a fundraiser for, oddly enough, Feed It Forward DC. I guess Feed Anne Arundel wasn't good enough for him. Speaking of D.C., it looks like Baltimore and D.C. have come together to see if they can't attract the 2026 FIFA World Cup to the region. They both mounted separate bids and realized that there was strength in numbers. And under this joint bid, they would play matches at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore. And D.C. would arrange a fan fest on the mall expected to attract a million people, which will be held in conjunction with the 250th anniversary of the founding of our nation. Off topic, I can't believe that the bicentennial was 50 years ago. Good luck to D.C. and Baltimore. It'd be nice to see a World Cup here in the area. As we start to wrap it up, a few events for the weekends. The Bay Bridge Boat Show opened up yesterday at the Bay Bridge Marina just over the bridge, and I took a peek, and it is a good show. And I'll tell you, the new Hemingways, which is called Libby's, is fantastic. I can't wait to go there and try out a nice dinner some evening. But you want to get your tickets to the boat show in advance at annapolisboatshows.com because there's only one very small ticket booth, and they are not selling walk-ups officially. But if you ask nicely, I'm sure they would. This runs through Sunday, and next Friday, the Annapolis Spring Sailboat Show opens up right here in Annapolis. Again, advanced tickets on that one, annapolisboatshows.com. Tonight from 6 to 9 p.m., Annapolis Green is hosting their Kick Gas event with more than 30 electric vehicles in that first block of West Street. Electric vehicles are coming for sure. The mayor even wants an electric ferry. But tonight, you can talk to the owners of the vehicles, not the car sales guys. It's a great way to learn more and see when, not if, an electric vehicle may be coming into your life. Tomorrow, the city is celebrating Earth Day with a giant citywide greenscape project. If you have some time, come on out and help pick up trash, plant some beds, weed, generally make the city more beautiful. The locations are all on the city's website at annapolis.gov. And personally, I'm going to be at Forest Drive right at Tyler Avenue bright and early in the morning waiting for someone to tell me what to do. 
And that's it for the news. But here is some podcast news for you. I dropped a bonus podcast yesterday afternoon with Don Hooker and Neil Katzeff. And we reminisced about the Chesapeake Bay Blues Fests of the past and really discussed the final one coming up on May 21st and 22nd. You want to be sure to check that one out because those two together are a blast. I will be dropping another one at noon today with the Reverend Payton of Reverend Payton's Big Damn Band. They are coming to Ram's Head in early May. And if you are a fan of raw blues, this is the show for you. Definitely check that out when it drops today at noon. Up tomorrow on the Local Business Spotlight, Unity Gardens. And next week, one you'll definitely want to hear, it is with Rick Hutzel, the former editor of The Capital, who is now working for Meta which is a Facebook company, or I guess Facebook is a meta company. And he's producing a local newsletter, which is fantastic, called Meanwhile in Annapolis. And finally, as always, thank you for listening. And if you are somewhere where you can leave a rating or a review, please do. And make sure you let your friends, family, and colleagues all know to give us a follow. It helps so much. A quick thank you to our sponsors for today's Daily News Brief. Solar Energy Services, the Christy Neidhart team of Northrop Realty, a long end foster company, and the Roof Guy Annapolis. It's Friday, so I'm going to take this time just to say have a great weekend, be nice to others, do something fun, and keep shopping local. Other than that, we're going to see you on Monday. Now hang tight. George from DCMDVA Weather is here with your locally forecast and hopefully warmer weather report. All of that in just a bit. Hi, this is Gary Ladard, owner of The Roof Guy Annapolis. For over 15 years, my team has worked with hundreds of homeowners to provide the highest quality roofing in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. As a homeowner myself, I understand when it's time for a new roof, you need to find a roofing company you can actually trust. One that will give you the bottom line. No fluff, no runaround. At The Roof Guy, it's my goal to build lifelong relationships and aspire to change what people have come to expect from a roofing contractor by delivering great experiences. So if you're looking for a roofing company in Annapolis or Anne Arundel County that holds the highest standards for quality, craftsmanship, and business reputation, call me today to schedule your free roof evaluation at 410-570-4956 or visit my website at theroofguyannapolis.com. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Friday, April 22nd. Yesterday was by far the nicest day of the week so far, but today will be a bit better and conditions should stay dry and comfortable into early next week. Look for plenty of sunshine today for the Annapolis region with highs in the mid to upper 70s for most, though always still a chance it could be a bit cooler by the water this time of year. With more sunshine than to kick off the weekend tomorrow with temps back down into the mid 60s to lower 70s before it warms back up on Sunday into the mid 70s to possibly lower 80s for some. With similar conditions expected on Monday ahead of our next chance of rain very late Monday or Tuesday, though temps Tuesday should still be 70 plus degrees for p.m. highs. Okay, that's it for today and for this week. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day and weekend out there. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for regular updates each day, as well as through our website at dcmdvaweather.info. And as always, be sure to download our DC MDVA Weather app on all of your devices from either the Apple or Google App Stores so you can always stay weather-informed. Another moving moment from Christy Neidhart of the Christy Neidhart team from Northrop Realty, a long and foster company. One of the most common questions we get, how do I maximize the value of my home before I sell it? It's a great question. We look at improvements like investments. What is the rate of return? For example, if we invest $5,000 in painting kitchen cabinets and installing granite, how much more will our home sell for? The answer, about $25,000 more. That's a 500% return on investment. Because of returns like this, we have started a program called Investing in You. We know cash is often tight when you're making a move, and we are here to help. We will front you up to $15,000 to invest in refreshing your home before you list it, with the agreement to be paid back once your home settles. Call us today at 410-599-1370 so we can help you maximize your home's value. 
That's another moving moment from Christy Neidhart. To get in touch, call 410-295-6579 or visit kn-team.com. That's kn-team.com. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Have you been looking for ways to save money recently? Maybe you should consider solar energy for your home. Or are you waiting for the technology to get cheaper? If so, how long are you going to wait? Today's solar costs less than 20% of what it cost 10 years ago. But while solar prices have declined every year, so have the financial incentives. Bottom line, if you wait for cheaper solar, you're also waiting for lower incentives. Take my home, for example. My solar system was installed in 2010, and it's been paid off for almost five years, and I no longer have to buy any electricity for another 15 to 20 years. If I waited for cheaper solar, I'd still be paying an electric bill. At Solar Energy Services, we have thousands of satisfied customers who are sure glad they didn't wait. So what are you waiting for? Sunshine's a wasted. Call us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, eyeonannapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at I on Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.